Welcome back guys, today we will cover Annex 6 that is prevention of air pollution from ship which entered into the force on 19th May 2005. I have divided this annex into 5 sections. The first will be the NOx, second SOx, third the greenhouse gases, fourth other provisions that include ozone depleting substance and the fifth the special areas. So let's start without further delay. MARPOL Annex 6 aims progressive reduction globally in emission of SOx, NOx and particulate matter and the introduction of emission control area that is the ECA to reduce emission of those air pollutants further in designated sea areas. So before we move ahead let's have a look what are the effects of air pollution. Air pollution causes acid rain, human health concerns, ozone depletion, global warming. I will not waste your time explaining these. You must be aware about it. I have tried to put up a graph to show you that shipping is still the less polluting mode of transportation. Here is how. Distance 1 ton of cargo can travel on 1 litre of fuel in Canada's Great Lake and St. Lawrence Seaway. By truck, 1 ton of cargo by 1 litre of fuel can travel only 49 km, whereas the train can travel 226 km and by ship you can transport that 1 ton 394 km. So you can see how less polluting a ship is, but still there are regulations to be followed. Marple NX6 divides pollutants into several categories. Let us discuss about them. So the first is NOx, the nitrogenous pollutants. The NOx emission limit of regulation 13 of NX6 applies to every marine diesel engine with a power output of more than 130 kilowatt installed on a ship. A marine diesel engine is defined as a reciprocating internal combustion engine operating on liquid or dual fuel. There are two exemptions, engine used solely for the emergencies and the engine on the ship operating solely within the water of the state in which they are flagged. The later exceptions only applies if their engines are subject to an alternative NOx control measures. The Marple NX6 NOx emission limits are categorized into three tiers, tier 1, tier 2 and tier 3. So let's discuss what are these. NOx emission limits are set for diesel engine depending on the engine maximum operating speed that is the RPM. Tier 1 and tier 2 limits are global while the tier 3 standards apply only in the noxious emission control area. So let's have a look in the table. This N stands for the RPM of the engine and all the data given here are in grams per kilowatt hours. Tier 1 starts from 2000. If the engine RPM was less than 130, then the emission allowed was 17 gram per kilowatt hour. If the engine RPM was between 130 and 2000, then there is the formula given over here. And if the engine RPM was more than 2000, then the emission standard was 9.8 gram per kilowatt hour. Tier 2 starts from 2011. If the engine RPM was less than 130, then the emission standards were 14.4 grams per kilowatt hour. And if between 130 and 2000, then here is the formula. And if more than 2000, then the emission standard is 7.7 .7 grams per kilowatt hour. Tier 3 starts from 2016. If the engine RPM is less than 130, then the emission standards were 3.4 grams per kilowatt hour. If between 130 and 2000, then the emission standard is calculated with the help of this formula. And if more than 2000, then it is 1.96. You can see there is strategic fall in the allowed limits. Now let's see how vessel complies with tier 2 and tier 3 categories. Tier 2 standards are expected to be met by combustion process optimization. The parameters explained by engine manufacturer include fuel injection timing, pressure and rate, fuel nozzle flow areas, exhaust valve timing and cylinder compression volumes. Tier 3 standards are expected to be required dedicated NOx emission control technologies such as various forms of water introduction into the combustion process, exhaust gas recirculation and selective catalyst reductions. Now let's see the next category, SOX, that is the sulfur content pollutants. NX6 regulation include caps on sulfur content of fuel oil as a measure to control SOX emissions and indirectly particulate matter emissions. Special fuel quality provisions exist for SOX emission control area, that is the SECA. Let's have a look in this table to understand how sulfur limit has changed in the frequent years. In the year 2000, the sulfur limit in the SECA area were 1.5% mass by mass and in global, it was 4.5% mass by mass. Between the year 2010 and 2012, it was 1% in SECA area mass by mass and 3.5% mass by mass in global regions. In 2015, it was 0.1% in the SECA area and 3.5% in the global regions. And further in 2020, it was reduced to 0.5% mass by mass for global regions. It is also known as Sulphur Cap 2020, which entered into the force on 1st of January 2020. For a vessel to comply these sulphur limit, she can opt for a heavy fuel oil which meets the applicable sulphur limits. Alternative measures are also allowed to reduce sulphur emissions such as through the use of exhaust gas cleaning system aka the scubbers. For example, in lieu of using 0.5% sulphur fuel 2020, ship can fit an exhaust gas cleaning system or use any other technology method to limit SOX emissions to not exceeding 6 grams per kilowatt hour. 
Now let's see the another category, greenhouse gases. In April 2018, the IMO adopted an initial strategy on the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions from ships with a target to reduce the total annual greenhouse emissions by at least 50% by 2050 compared to 2008. The strategy calls for strengthening the EEDI, that is the Energy Efficiency Design Index, requirements and a number of other measures to reduce emissions such as operational efficiency measures, further speed reduction, measures to address CH4 and volatile organic compound emissions, alternative low carbon and zero carbon fuels as well as market-based measures. Now let's see what Marpol has to say about greenhouse gases. Marpol Annex 6 Chapter 4 introduced two mandatory mechanisms intended to ensure an energy efficient standard for ships. The Energy Efficient Design Index that is the EEDI for new ships and the Ship Energy Efficiency Management Plan that is SEEMP for all ships. The EEDI is a performance based mechanism that requires a certain minimum energy efficiency in new ships. Ships designed and built are free to choose the technology to satisfy the EEDI requirements in a specific ship designs. The SEEMP establishes a mechanism for operators to improve the energy efficiency of the ships. The regulations apply to all the ships 400 gross tonnage and above and enter into the force from 1st of January 2013. Now let's see the another category that is the ozone depleting substance. NX6 prohibits deliberate emissions of ozone depleting substance which includes halons and chlorofluorocarbons. New installation containing ozone depleting substance are prohibited on all ships but new installation containing the hydrochlorofluorocarbons are permitted until 1st of January 2020. The NX6 also prohibits the incineration on board a ship of certain products such as contaminated packaging materials and polychlorinated biphenyls. Now let's have a look on the special areas of NX6 that is also known as emission control areas. Two sets of emission control and fuel quality requirements are defined by NX6 that is the global requirement and the most stringent requirement applicable to the ship in emission control area that is the ECA. The emission control area can be designed for SOX and particulate matter or NOX or all three types of emission from ship subject to a proposal from the party to NX6. Existing emission control area includes the Baltic Sea. For SOX it was adopted on 1997 which entered into the force on 2005 and for NOX it was adopted in 2016 which entered into the force on 2021. Second is the North Sea. Third is the North American Emission Control Area, including most of the US and Canadian coast. Fourth is the US Caribbean Emission Control Area, including Puerto Rico and the US Virgin Islands. So with this guys, we are done with the NX6. Hope you liked the video. Do subscribe the channel. If you want these notes, you can join our Telegram channel. Link is given in the description. We'll see you in the next one.